Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to The Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. New week, new video, another brand new video. In today's brand new video, we're back on it. We're back on the Glen Allocky. We're back on the Cash Strength 10 Glen Allocky. This is the Batch 11. This is the highest ABV Glen Allocky 10 to date. 59.4 non-chill filtered and no colour added cash strength whisky at its best. This is the new Glandic branding from Glenallocky. Looks pretty cool. What's your thoughts guys? Dive in, share you what you think. Are you liking it? Are you not liking it? Do you prefer it? Are you not preferring it? Just a couple of things on the bottle. The new wording is whisky in good hands, which yes guys, if you know Billy Walker, You'd probably say, yes, whiskey is in good hands. So that's new to Glenallocky. Is it still as good? This is batch 11, so Billy's whizzing through those batches. As you can see along the shelf here, we're going from batch 1 all the way across to batch 11. Same cast maturations. I think it's Virgin Oak. A little bit of Rioja, a bit of Oloroso, a bit of PX. So the, the, the formula is pretty much the same. Wow, nose is wonderful. So on, on the nose of this one, Engaging, honey, sp nice spicy thing, honey, spiced honey, cinnamon. The, the difference I've picked up on this one, guys, as you see, I've just managed to get it down past the shoulder, so I've spent a few, a few, the uh, last couple of weeks with it, got it down past the shoulder. The first initial difference with this one is a wee bit more bready, it's a wee bit more biscuity, it's a wee bit more cakey, toffee, biscuity. That beautiful spicy cinnamon ginger. It's almost like a ginger biscuit. The ginger biscuit thing going on, but it's still it's still fruity. It's still got that that honeyed Glenallocky character to it. Fruity apples, pears, woody, grassy. The grass is is there's, there's a the difference with this one, guys. There's a wee there's a wee bit more complexity going on with this. There's a wee bit more grassy. Damp grass, wet grass, damp wood, wet wood thing going on. Oh, almost maybe some Dunnage notes going on in this one. But it's pastry, it's cakey, it's got a bakery vibe. Whereas some of the others are much more raisin driven on the nose. Coffee driven, raisin driven, dark honey driven. This is a wee bit more, don't get me wrong, the honey's there. The sweet honey's there, the sticky honey's there. But it's more bready, pastry, cakey, biscuity. Not too sure where that's coming from, but engaging those, it, it drives you in. If you're used to doing all the Glenallocky core range, take the 10, if you bought them all the way through and you're thinking, well, do you need to buy another one? It's the same maturation. This this is this is a little bit different, folks, so it's worth it's worth picking up. Let's taste it. Oh, that's so nice. Wow, okay. Here, here's cast strength whiskey, guys. On the palate, this comes in soft, delicate, Then it builds, and the intensity comes afterwards. It's a real slow intensity. The intensity just comes, it builds and builds and builds. It comes in with that, that the spice just builds, the ginger. It's much more coffeeed on the palate. The big, big coffee note initially comes in. Big chocolate note comes in. Dark chocolate. Box of chocolates. It's thick. It's oily, it's nutty. There's a big, big raisin note as well. The big raisins come in. It's toasty. That chocolate thing and the honey, there's a kind of... We have a bar in the UK, which is a crunchy bar. Which is, this is coming in a wee bit kind of crunchy bar going on. But there's big treacle. Big toffee, thick toffee, thick chico, big thick molasses if you're in the US. 
plums, juicy plums, thick, dark plums, dark fruit, dried fruit. It's nutty, it's gingery. Wow, this is this is different to as you'll probably know on the channel, guys, I've I've covered virtually all of the Glenalaki 10 cast strengths. This is interesting. I was starting to get a wee bit kind of bored and fed up. And I thought, well, I'll buy the next one. But, yeah, as usual, I had to continue the theme. So, yeah, I have picked it up. And I'm glad I've picked it up. Because I might actually go out now and pick up another one up. Coffee, chocolatey, red fruit, ginger spice, that little bit damp dunnage thing going on. Finish is... It's boozy, boozy raisins, treacly, sticky, toffee, dark chocolate, beautiful spicy element. This is nicely balanced as well, guys. There's a whole beautiful, lots of things going on, lots of integration, the honey, the dampness, the, the dark, damp wood, the, the damp grass. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Guys, Fantastic whiskey. Can't remember what I scored the last one. So I'm going to purely score this one. Let me do another quick set for the finish. Just, just to make sure, guys. A bit of research, of course. Wow. So nice. This is up there. So this this is as good. This batch of living is probably as good as I've had for well, I'm gonna say many years, but he's rattling these out big time. Yeah, nice. This is fantastic. I'm gonna score this a ninety out of a hundred. Real, real nice, really interesting, really engaging. Super easy to drink. Fifty although it's the hottest, it's fifty nine point Four does it drink like fifty nine point four? It's easily if uh, you want to try a wee bit of water. It doesn't really do much with water. It probably just makes it a little bit more fruity and and a, maybe a little bit more spicy. But other than that, I, I quite like it neat. I think the complexity is there, and the, but it's neat. That coffee, toffee, chicory, molassesy. Pretty, it's a wonderful balance for all of it, guys. So this, this to me, I think Billy, you'd think Billy, oh, he's getting on. He's these, these, he's just throwing these out for fun now. But guys, this, believe me, this is this is as good as it's been for the last couple of years. Wonderful, wonderful batch of living. So guys, if you've tried it, dive into the comments. Let me know what you think about it. How does it compare with previous batches? Please share your thoughts with me. YouTube likes it, Alan likes it. I love to engage in the conversation. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Glen Alecky, 10, batch 11, cash strength, 59.4% ABV. Until the next one, I'm Alan, I'm the Whiskey Friend. Don't you forget to send some great whiskey straight down the hatch. And always remember the pleasures in the sharing. See you in the next one, folks. Cheers then. Bye-bye.